Hi everyone. So the latest development this week in the Idaho student murders case is that the Moscow police put out a press release that they are looking for a white 2011 to 2013 Hyundai Elantra model car that they believe the driver of may have significant information regarding the murders. Now, we don't know whether or not this is a car that uh, police perhaps spotted on one of the surveillance videos because we know they've been collecting or attempting to collect uh, video surveillance from uh, neighbors and businesses in a particular area. So we don't know if this uh, there was an eyewitness who saw the vehicle or if it was caught on camera, but I wanted to make this video because um, it reminds me of a case that I'm very familiar with uh, from way back in 1985. Uh, when I was living in Los Angeles and we were being terrorized by a serial killer called the Night Stalker. And so what's interesting about this case in Idaho is the role that this vehicle seems to be playing or may ultimately play in leading uh, law enforcement to the suspect. So what happened in the Night Stalker case was by um, the end of August of the summer of 1985, uh, the citizens of uh, LA County and even now San Francisco where a murder had taken place were in absolute fear and uh, terror because this was a um, unrelenting mass murderer who would crawl into people's homes and murder them and there was no rhyme or reason and all police had to go on at least all that they let the public know that they had to go on, on at that time was that they were looking for a uh, Latino man mid-20s uh, who had really bad teeth and there was a composite sketch that had been um, pushed out through the media and it was everywhere. Uh, but on the night of, or the early morning hours of Sunday, August 25th, um, a 13 year old boy in the Orange County suburb of Mission Viejo was in his garage and it was around 1.30 that morning. He was working on a car or a bike or something and the garage was open and he saw a suspicious prowler um, who kind of fit the description of, of the Night Stalker run across his front yard and got into an orange Corolla, a Toyota Corolla, and, uh, and took off. Uh, and, the, and the boy got the last four numbers of the license plate, um, but that was all he had. When the police found out the next day that there had actually been an attempted murder very close uh, to that boy's house that night, probably shortly after the boy uh, had been, or the boy had spotted the, the, uh, the prowler, uh, they put out an all points bulletin uh, for the car. And um, a short while, while later, they actually, uh, it, was, it was discovered abandoned in a strip mall um, near downtown Los Angeles. And um, they were able to impound it and they uh, did some lab work on it, swabbed it, um, tested for fingerprints, and they actually found a fingerprint on the rear view mirror. And when they ran that fingerprint across their records, they didn't have a computer back then, they actually had to manually check them um, against the fingerprints that they had on record. They found a match with a 25-year-old uh, drifter from Texas named Richard Ramirez who had a prior arrest. They then put out a, um, a another notification to the public that uh, he was wanted and literally within a few days uh, he was captured on the streets of East Los Angeles and ultimately convicted. I say all this because oftentimes these types of uh, crimes are solved when there is a vehicle linked and so it will be very interesting to see what happens as far as whether or not the Idaho police are able to identify the owner of this vehicle, find the vehicle, uh, perhaps look for evidence in the vehicle and um, ultimately figure out what happened to those uh, poor kids that night in um, Moscow. Thanks for watching.